Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, most of us will get the plain old rain showers tonight through tomorrow morning. There may be a few holdouts with some snow, sleet, even freezing rain, but those areas will be quite limited. And you can see on the satellite loop, the green represents where the rain is, and that's what most of us are getting. But notice this little area of pink here in extreme northern and northeastern Rhode Island, or northwestern Rhode Island, I should say. This could keep up for the next hour or two, but again, most of us just staying with the liquid end. There may be a few slick spots on the roads north and west of 295 where uh, some slick spots uh, could occur on those untreated surfaces only. As we uh, go to the 8 p.m. hour, most of the holdouts with the sleet and snow should also go over to rain by this point, represented by the green. Overnight, off and on showers. You can see midnight, the green representing some of those showers. Notice a little bit of cold air with some snow trying to nose back into northern Rhode Island, but I think most of us keep this away. Tomorrow morning's commute, we do have the green representing the showers, so it could be a little bit slow tomorrow morning, but I'm not expecting any major downpours or anything like that. Notice what happens. By noontime, a lot of the showers start to sort of shrink up, and especially into the afternoon, we don't get nearly the uh, widespread activity. So I think by 3 o'clock, we're stuck with a few showers hours, some drizzle, but nothing really that steady or heavy. And then into the overnight hours of Monday into Tuesday morning, notice how the green really starts to fill back in. This is storm number two, I'm going to call it. This will be all rain. It's a very mild system, but we could get some downpours and gusty winds with the system that's on the way for late Monday night and Tuesday morning. In the meantime, live pinpoint Doppler 12 showing the showers across Rhode Island, southeastern Mass, and a few pockets of potential snow or sleet, even freezing rain up here in places to the north and west of a 295. As we look at our city cam, we have the raindrops on the camera lens. Temperature just enough above freezing to keep it a uh, rain and keep the roads wet and not slick. Winds out of the northeast at 7 miles an hour. And notice these current temperatures. This is actually a good sign. Smithfield was stuck at 32 degrees for much of the day. And yeah, that makes me a little nervous when we have the moisture, the rain falling, and temperatures close to freezing. And again, there still could be pockets in this e region here, which could be a little bit slick. But the rest of us now getting enough above freezing where it's not that much of a concern and in fact those temperatures will continue to rise as we go through the overnight hours. Notice the Patriots forecast temperatures in the upper 30s. I mean if you haven't left for the game yet it's getting late. Kickoffs coming up pretty soon. Dress warmly bring the waterproof clothing and also the layers underneath the rain jacket because it's not going to be like last week where we had 50s with the showers. This time we're going to be in the upper 30s to around 40 so kind of a damp Raw night out there at Gillette. Hopefully the uh, Pats can sneak out a victory. Temperatures tomorrow into the upper 40s with some lingering pockets of showers and drizzle. But I think the steadier stuff and the bulk of the rain we get over with during the morning hours. But tomorrow afternoon certainly isn't the nicest afternoon in the world. 47 in Fall River. Seekonk 46 degrees in Middletown at 47. Seven day future cast shows. Wow, very active. We have some heavy rain potentially late Monday night to Tuesday morning. Wednesday and Thursday, we get a break in the action. And then Friday, another potential coastal storm with lots of wind and rain. At this point, snow looks unlikely, but stay tuned. If we look at more information, we have to. I am not afraid to throw those snowflakes in the forecast. Saturday and Sunday, perhaps a lingering flurry, but that does not look like a big deal with temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. Don't forget about WPRI.com. You can always go there for your latest weather updates. So some showers for the most part overnight and then kind of a dreary day on the way tomorrow. All right, thanks.